All right, guys, this is Tony. And I'm Zach. Disclaimer, your customers might see this. Alright guys, this is Tony, and I want to give a big thanks to my brother for coming over through the snow, uphill both ways, over to Tony Baloney Studios. It was a big trouble, but he did it for me, so... I live about half a mile from here, so... Yeah, he lived, I think it's somewhere around 4.2 miles, but, you know, he's very nice to come over and he called me and said, hey, do you want to do this video and, and, and stuff like that? And, I, and it's been a long time and I was supposed to already make video about the um, isotunes and stuff. So, so like, yeah, you know, let's do it. And so we, um, so I'm glad he gave me the idea or help at least remind me of the idea. You know, I thought about it a while back, but then I just kind of forgot about it. So he, he came and reminded me about this. The one disclaimer is looking out the back window when you have these music tunes, your customers might see this. And then so let's just wait for a second. Yeah. See, in all this time, we have to watch all this a million times. I know, you know, I know, you're Because you know how it is for podcasts. Yeah, back. read the watch. Or, I put the headphones in because Emmy doesn't like to like, hear himself <laughs> saying the same thing like a million it's times. It's really way. It, you know? So I put the headphones on. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's make sure counting right yeah yeah we're good we're good to go and yeah and then at some point i'll talk about when you used to make them and stuff too oh yeah yeah you talk about whatever you remember you're talking pros and cons the price and your experience with them some something along those lines yeah um what i'll do is i'll review one you right. review one and sure. i'll review one whether that be on your screen or or mm -hmm. whatever you know um so i'll just start off with these because these are kind of both the same kind and then you get ready and you'll do one after I finish this right. and this part won't be a lot of editing through it'll just be pretty live and real sure. so alright guys so the first set of hearing protection we're going to go over is these muff style ones my dad uses the 3M FM ones I, I think you can get them somewhere around 50 bucks ish 50 to 60 I've looked at them a lot um, his are just the double A ones they look like this they're yellow and black um, they have a Bluetooth version, um, which we have not tried yet, but that would be cool to try in the future. You know, they're like rechargeable Bluetooth, but they, they, it's the same thing. It does the same thing. It just, um, you could play your phone without a cord. See, the only thing is dad ones like these, um, he would have to run like an aux cord to, and hook into it. Just like how that one is, like that. So these are the same kind. These are great. The good thing about them, one of the pros, you don't have to put anything in your ears. When you get back to the truck after a yard, you know, it's very easy because you can just pop them off and just be talking to your friend and getting some Gatorade and, and all that stuff. And it's easier, you know, like like the, the, the other kind, you know, it's, you know, it takes a minute to pull them in and out. It's not a big deal, but it is so much easier with these. And even when you have them on and you're done blowing, you're walking back up the truck, you can just like put them up on your head like that or put them around your neck. You can just walk up and that way you don't have to constantly wear the hearing protection. So I like that about them. Um, one, some of the cons, it's just that for me, sometimes after I wear these for about like nine or ten hours, like it tends to give me a little bit of a headache. Mm -hmm. I think just because of the sound kind of just echoing all up inside of these is little it, domes. Is it like the pressure on your head? It could be the pressure because I have a big mm -hmm. head and so this, I mean, it's like squeezing me really bad. It could be that. Are they hot? Um, could be the sound. And you know, I use them a lot during the winter. They are hot during summer. That's one thing. Another thing that's a problem. I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of hot no matter what, but these are a little hotter. So those are some of the cons, but they're good. Personally, what I do is I like to keep a lot of these. Couple, I keep a couple different kinds with me in my truck and just kind of whatever I'm kind of feeling on that yard. You know, I might just put these on or I might be tired of these or I might have been tired of the other kind. I wear these for the first part of the day and then, you know, maybe I switch over to the other kind, just kind of whatever I'm feeling. So I, I encourage you to keep a couple sets in your truck if, if you like to of different ones. Um, just because, just to make yourself to hopefully wear hearing protection because you gotta wear it because once your hearing's gone, it's gone. And uh, you know, like I said, the prices of these vary. The non-music ones like this, Harbor Freight, these are probably like 10 to $12 or something, I mean, very cheap. And um, so 
So that's kind of the review on these ones. Zach, you want to take another one? All right. So um, a few years ago, I didn't know if any of these really existed or not uh, at Home Depot and stuff. And so what I did was I would just buy really cheap, regular headphones. I think they're called like Marshmallow or something. They just have a little rubber tip on the end. And I would buy those for about $10 and then take off the rubber tip and then poke a hole in a normal earplug and super glue the earplug like onto the Like earplug, them. like this yeah. kind of earplug? Yeah, so I would, um, and I would super glue one of those onto the end of regular headphones, and, but you have to take a screwdriver or something and poke a hole in it. It's, it's not the best way of doing it, it's kind of messy, but if you do have those two things and want to just make your own, that is a way to do it. Um, then I went and did some research on Google and I found uh, these, let me show you these. Um, these are called plug phones. Wait, let me hold it this way. These are about $25 on Amazon, uh, and they are they ship for free. But anyway, so I've used a ton of sets of these. I've bought about 10 of these. And uh, they last a few months usually, and then they start shorting out. And Ooh, show them up yeah, 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 so they come in this little thing. You just rip them out here. But, um, but anyway, so they come with a foam tip and with a rubber tip. Uh, both are okay, but I definitely prefer just having the the foam one that just blocks sound a little bit better um, I wanted to show you guys this. This is the old design. They still have it on Amazon uh, For about $20 this this old design works a lot better I just got these in a few days ago and uh, and started using them and There's something about the way the earplug gets smaller at the end that it just doesn't block sound as good as uh, As the old design did the old design is just more traditional earplug shape and I just far prefer that. Um, but anyway, both are okay. What I think is the absolute kind of best uh, sound quality, both for the music and for keeping out other sounds, is I'll put in some pair of headphones like this, and then I'll take these and put them over the top, like Tony showed a minute ago. So I just wear both. So I put these in and put these over it to Got really block protection. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really block out everything. Uh, the con of that is that, you know, obviously, if you're just wearing, like, in-ear ones, you probably look cooler. But, uh, <laughs> but the, these do not block the sound nearly the same as if you have those on the outside of them. Um, I'm trying to think pros and cons of these. Uh, the pros are that they're not that expensive, and you can get them with free shipping. The cons would be that I've never had them last more than a few months. And, uh, and like and so when I tried to contact them via customer service they did not respond there's some um, sort of uh, I think they're maybe like some small like Chinese company or something but um, that's neither here nor there whatever kind of company they are they do not care about customer service so you just have to buy more but um, yeah so there are three levels of this there are these ones which are $25 the old ones which are uh, what I'll be getting next which are $20 and then there's like a base model which is uh, which is like sixteen dollars um, on Amazon, and they the difference with those is that they only have uh, the rubber tip, and it's basically like fastened on there, so you can't use a uh, an actual foam earplug. But overall, these have been great, and they're cheap enough that it's not really a huge deal to uh, to buy them every every few months. And so you get them on Amazon, and the price for that set specifically is somewhere around. 25 these are 26 dollars yeah. yeah. and that's the brand again in plug case you phones. plug yeah. phones brand you can get them on amazon and i'll try to put a, the links to a few of these things down in the description just for fun and um and you talk about the the other ones sure. here in a minute i'm going to do one here and then you do yep. that one. Yep. um so the next one these are kind of like uh me and zach got a set of these at the expo and i think they're Kind of like some of my favorite ones I ever had, and these are the ISO Tunes Pro. That I have a lot of you guys on YouTube use these, um, and you see a lot of people that have them on here, and they're super good. Um, I like them a lot. I love the no cord. The battery life is amazing on these things, and I don't know how that they, this company does this because you know I can use them from 7:30 in the morning, be playing podcasts and using stuff all the way till I finish them in the dark, and the phone might be dying, but these are are still good. And I don't know how that works, but because see, I have some other just like regular Philips Bluetooth. They're not made for work. Just regular Bluetooth, just headphones, and they don't last maybe three or four hours. So these are super awesome. Um, Did they you have know, a, a foam they, in display? They have these foam ones, and I use these sometimes too. Um, these are similar, like the ones Zach was talking about. So and they just real easy. You can just unscrew it, screw it on. 
And uh, these are great because they do block out the sound a better. Um, just because the foam, you know, expands and it just takes up like every nook and cranny. Um, I guess some of the downside of the foam ones is it is harder to take in and out. If a customer comes out and want to ask you something, you got to kind of roll it back up and put it in there and all that. Whereas these like Christmas tree rubber ones, you can just push it back in there and just pull it in and out anytime. And these probably get a little, definitely more, I know for me, get a lot of earwax on them. My ears are yeah. like an earwax factory up in there. <laughs> so, so I think both of these are good. These you kind of have to kind of, for me, I have to kind of wiggle it around to where like, oh, now it's blocking all the sound out. Like, it's like you might hit a bump or something and then the blower gets loud and so yeah. you gotta like, you know. Yeah, you sort of gotta go like up or down or but something. But I have found out once you get used to using them and you know, you kind of push them in there kind of hard and you kind of just get used to doing it, you kind of can hit that right spot and they don't give you a lot of problems. And I think once you use them a lot, like once they warm up, like in your ear, the rubber and stuff, like after using for multiple days, they seem to like work better. Mm -hmm. So I use these a lot. And, but like I said, sometimes I like to just use these, like, you know, I don't know if Zach ever counters this, but sometimes like I already listen to a million songs, I already listen to podcast stuff. So I don't even want to listen to music or anything. So I'll just take my phone out and just throw it in the truck and I'll just use these kind, you know, or, uh, you know, with no music. Um, but I was, you know, I love these kind. These are definitely a good option. These are somewhere like 89 ish, 89 dollars or somewhere like that. Great guy. We actually met the owner of this at the expo that day. There's black of these. That's the ones yeah, you have. They're just he's all kind black. Of in on the industry, which I think is yeah. Cool. <clears throat> and um, and they they this company they have the ones with wire too, which you were looking at earlier. But yeah. he had them on the table that day, and they're actually cheaper than this because these are like 89 dollars, and I think those are like 40 yeah, something yeah, dollars. Yeah. And, um, and they were really neat. There might be a third, I think he had three different ones, right. but I could be wrong about that. And um, yeah. But anyway, maybe it was just two colors of these and then the one like cord ones, I don't know. But it was something like that. But anyway, yeah, these are super great. He also warranties these for one year. Right. Which he's, he was saying, you know, like in electronics world, like nobody does that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so that's neat. Also, the foam capability. I talk to customers all the time, and uh, you know, even if the blower's on idle, it's, these block out the blower sound. Even when you're talking, like they don't hear the blower, and you can just talk. I still generally just turn it off anyway, but but they're kind of made to do that. The guy was explaining to me that to like the surrounding noise, it kind of blocks it out and just tries to pick up just your voice. Um, so that does work good. Um, you know, I guess one of the only downsides is like the Bluetooth, like if you're, if you lean against the truck or if your phone's like down a bottom lower pocket and there's like, you know, the mowers kind of in the way from where the headphones are, like if it can't get a clear, good sight vision, sometimes it'll like glitch a little bit or it'll, um, you know, just cut out for a second. But generally I don't have a problem with that. It's not really a big deal. It could just be my phone, although it's done it with the last two phones. So. But you know that's just part of the Bluetooth technology. It's no, it's no problem with the isotunes. Like all the Bluetooth headphones do it. But for me, it's still weird because I like no cord. It's super nice. And um, so Zach, you want to review yeah. another one you got? So uh, two other things that uh, I wanted to mention. One is anytime you have uh, headphones that are also earplugs and you're really into whatever you're listening to, it is a lot more difficult to pay attention to the other people you're working with. And you know you just can, for me, can actually not hear the guy who's like mowing or whatever and so you really have to kind of look for him more often um, otherwise like my dad or him or somebody will be like three feet away and going nuts and uh, and I won't see them um, and then they get very <clears throat> angry um, the other <laughs> no the other thing is uh, with these and with with most um, uh, headphones that use an earplug you can replace them like he was saying they do get kind of nasty uh, and I think for the uh, for this brand for plug phones, they're about six dollars uh, on Amazon between five and six dollars for, and for just more. Nice yeah. sells the replacements as well. Yeah, and I had I had yeah. a set of those and then lost them within about twenty four hours, um, <laughs> and never got to use them. He again. still doesn't know if but, it's dad's fault or yeah, I think it's dad's fault, but I'm not fault. sure. He um, didn't, he didn't get a thorough really review about them because he only had them for one day and then and then I lost, lost them and never saw them again. So if y'all uh, find his, his isotunes, send them back to us and I'll give you his address. I'll, or yeah, my address. So I didn't put something. my uh, name on them or anything. Um, so the next thing I wanted to review, these, Tony had bought me uh, these from Lowe's. Um, I'm going to try to get it to where you can see it 
but uh, this is just a rough picture of what they look like. They're called Tough Tested. I guess that's the brand, right? Yep. These are about $38. Let me show you what the package looks like uh, in case you do want to go pick these up. The package looks like this. I believe but, they have um, them at Lowe's and Home Depot. I'm yeah, these sure. are just another brand of, uh, of headphones. They also have a rubber option and a foam option. The, uh, the problem I had with those is with the foam uh, tip is the way the headphone is designed, it's basically supposed to like hold the foam off the plastic. It's just, I'm not doing a very good job of explaining this, but as I used them, the foam part slid in too far towards the wire, and then uh, in a way it wasn't supposed to, like something came unfastened, and then it was hard to get it far enough in your ear that it would block everything. Um, so uh, that became a problem. They do work very good if you just use the, the other tip. What's what are they called? Like silicone or something? It's the yeah, Christmas so tree here. You, <laughs> Christmas tree They tip. do come with those. If you use those, they work very good. Um, and that's what I've used the last couple months because these just came in the mail. But um, yeah, so I had been using this set from Lowe's and then putting these kind of things on top of them. And, uh, and that works great. But uh, I don't like them as much as the plug phones, but you can get them at any Lowe's. And I think you can get them at Home Depot as well. Um, and they, like I said, they are 38... Uh, 99 according to this and then I think I have three different models of the tough test one because I had gotten for for Christmas My parents had got me a set for, for Christmas. There's like the Ranger There's like one that's kind of has like a marine kind of theme like a water theme There's one that has like trees on it kind of thing and um, I I had a set too and they were good They are good um, After about maybe six or eight months like you're saying they just don't seem to last forever um, they uh you know, like one of the sides was like cutting in and out, like it, yeah. you know, but, and that's kind of another thing with the, that you don't have that problem with the Bluetooth, I guess, because see the jack on my phone, you know, like in right. your pocket. It's short and, and um, And I've been using the Isotunes hard ever since I bought them, and they have been nothing but awesome. They have like a little memory thing, you know, yeah. like wherever, however your yeah. ear is. Yeah, they, but, um, this brand that you can get at Lowe's, the Tough Tester Rev, they also have a model that has a little plastic has a little like plastic type thing for your that goes over your ear um, and I can never get that right like I can never get used to the way it was supposed to be and so I eventually just like ripped it off and tried to use it yeah you can pull it off of the cord it just the cord just runs in this optional little rubber thing yeah which is like how mine was and it was that's I, I think get, it's pretty cool they give you a choice I just couldn't get used to it really. and um the good thing about these ones he's talking about tough test is they are only $39 or whatever you know the isotunes are $100 yeah but you know you guys that own the landscape company or even if you well not this doesn't apply if you work for landscape company but if you own a landscape company you know they are right off at least a certain percentage of them depending on your state and this that and the other but a great thing about being able to listen to music you know some of the cons like he was saying you got to watch out for customers might walk up and you might not even see them you know and those kind of things um cars fedex trucks all that kind of thing um but a good thing about it is you know obviously it does help the data pass faster yeah yeah and then plus also you can be learning stuff like i haven't started yet but i want to get in, get into like the audiobook so like you, know, you can be like you know you're out there just mowing just hearing the vroom for you know 10 12 hours a day it'd be cool you know to be learning at the same time when you're mowing you can be learning about business parenting you know whatever's going on in your life and so that's what i want that's one of the cool things about listening and then you know like i said maybe you want to listen to something for a few yards and then a few yards you know sometimes like towards the end of the day a few yards left but i just like to just listen to the mower sound just use regular ones or or use these ones another one that these are my favorite ones that I've ever used so far that are, do not play music. Um, this has a little rubber cord, and it, what it does is when you're in your ear, it kind of like sticks out like this. I don't know how it works, but this material is kind of like a rubber, but it's kind of stiff. And these are different. They're different than these Christmas tree ones. Um, these kind with like these little flaps. I actually talked to Mr. Tim. That I believe that's his name. Sorry, Mr. Tim, if that's not, but I'm pretty sure it is Tim Miller. I think. If I correct, remember that correctly, that owns the Isotunes, I was asking him about these tips because for some reason, these ones like with the kind of more straight, the more straight flaps like that, see it has basically like four or five different levels instead of three when it goes in your ear. So these ones do not have the problem of like when, it, when you bounce or something, you hear the blower. No, I guess because these all and they all kind of just like, you know, they straight and they really conform to your ear. You push these in there, like you're good until you pull them out. They do not... 
I think it's something to do because see how these are kind of bent down I feel like that kind of works against them because they don't really seal good but since these are kind of straight up you know it really is um, it just it definitely works better so I like these and when I do these sometimes if I don't want to listen to music I do these leave my phone in the truck and I take this why you see that little bend right there it's because I tie it on the back of the hat like that and it takes up soaks up some of the slack too so they're just like hanging right here put them in your ears when you get done with the yard you can just rip them out and they just hang on your shirt and they don't hang down and they're and they're not getting caught on your shirt when you turn your head you know behind you or anything because that's annoying because like your hat like has them mounted perfectly right behind your head and you can just stick them in it was funny because I was actually in one of our big gated communities and I saw one of the big companies the it's a nature scape, it's a big company from Atlanta. And I seen their guys have these like this tied on the back of their hats. I was like, hmm, that's a good idea. I should try that. So I got it. I got these from Walmart and uh, I think I paid like two bucks for them, mm -hmm. two or three bucks. You know, they're in like a circle little plastic white case. Um, but it has them, you know. So if they could make this tip for the, uh, the isotunes, that that would be sweet <laughs> so um last thing I, I wanted to mention was just um when you are taking uh these in and out of your ears all day uh i i did at one point i did feel like it was it was really kind of cleaning my ear to where there you know wasn't really like earwax in there or whatever and that was probably true but eventually i had a weird thing where it had like earwax i got like compacted or something and i felt like i couldn't really hear out of one ear so I had to like dump like peroxide and other kind of stuff in there to clean it out. <laughs> but that was not a big deal and if it did happen to you it wouldn't be a big deal. But uh but it was annoying and do still check your ears I guess. Yeah, something I've been doing to kinda of help with that here recently, um, because I guess for everybody, for both of us that's a problem. And especially because I seem to be like a high earwax producing kind of person. I don't know if everybody's like that, but it seems like not. It seems like most people just Wear headphones, no big deal. I don't know, but um, but what I've been starting to do is like before I leave for work that day, because um, you have to be careful like with Q-tips, you know, push them down there too far and whatever. But what I've been doing, and it's been helping, I keep like some paper towels in my truck. And before I start the day, I just shove it in there with my finger and just wipe out, you know, whatever I can with a paper towel. And then I use my uh, my earplugs, um, and that helps a lot. Like I don't sh shove it down there. I'm just saying, I just put it on my finger and just. Just wipe out, you know, kind of around the rim, around the edge, you know, everything you can reach. And that will help cut down on the mess that gets on here. So, yeah, like that's another tip. Saying mom stuff at this point. Yeah. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're moms for sure. Another thing, uh, this is the last kind that we have. These are just your everyday <laughs> foam. Been yeah, out since the 90s. Probably, yeah. yeah, you may have already tried these. And they work great like these. You know, there's no string to deal with, there's nothing like that. Like, these are the most freeing, freestyle, working ones. Like, you you have these in the sounds block, and you can't tell. You don't have to have a phone on you in your pocket. Like, these just feel like you're just free spirit. There's, it's Like, it's totally comfortable on your ear. You know what I'm saying? Like, these kind with nothing in the middle. I mean, they're just awesome when you're using them. But, you know, you they get all dirty and because of your wax. And when you pull them out, you got to set them somewhere. There's no string. They don't hold them free, so you kind of... You end up setting them on the dashboard, or whatever, and whatever, and whatever, and then um, and you can't so obviously can't listen to anything. So. Right, and you can't listen to anything. Um, but these do work good, and you know, um, I would just plead with you I feel guys. Like if you are watching a long hair channel, you're already well aware of, of those earplugs. Yeah, um, <laughs> but you know, just you know, let's all encourage each other to wear something because it's a yeah. big deal. You know, I see like a lot of our local companies and like all their crews are out there and like they didn't even wear anything and just not care about it, you know, um, ghetto guys and whatever. Um, I'm just saying, you know, let's just take the time to care about it because once we're grandpa one day and we won't hear nothing, you know, and, and so, you know, our lawn care, you know, we don't want to pay that kind of price for our... You know, they're not paying us a billion dollars per cut. You know, let's at least try to keep her hearing and, and those kind of things. You know, wearing good shoes and, you know, all this stuff kind of comes into play. Good out, outfit for the day, whatever. But this was just a video. Just going over a few thoughts on the different type of um, headphones. And um, if y'all have some other kinds that you like to use, 
comment down below put a link in the description let us know um because there might be some others too because um the guys on my videos are always super helpful like they if i have a problem going on with the mower truck or something you guys just come right in and say hey get this it'll help and a lot of times they're right on the money and it's something i didn't know about so that's the cool really really cool thing about it so even if you use these same kinds comment below and let me and zach know which kind that you like to use and um zach great. thank you for coming on my yeah. video it's and great. uh how does it feel to be on the famous um, Tony's Lawn Care channel? I guess I'll know once it goes live. <laughs> when, when, he sees, when he sees those big checks come and fly in the mail, he'll know that he did the right thing. And then, um, so, yeah, I just want to let y'all know real soon, like, I'm planning on quitting my lawn care business and I'm going full time on YouTube. Mm. No, that's not true. Yeah. Not true. Especially um, if you're a lawn care channel. I don't know how that yeah. works. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it's pennies for, you know, the ad revenue. But, uh... The dog is under the table. You know, and a lot of times, you know, I turn some of the ads off just because it just annoys me. And I don't want y'all to have to fight through that too much just to watch my video. It's not like I'm, you know, Justin Bieber or whatever. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll get done rambling for now. And we'll <laughs> see you later. All right. Thank you.